Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I want to I want to clarify something, and may, you know, maybe maybe I shouldn't have said folks were confused about whether it's included. It is very clear, based on conversations with immigration attorneys, experts, people who know much more than me, that unauthorized children are included. They are. They are included in the definition of unauthorized alien. And to figure that out, all you have to do is you have to just look at the federal code that's referenced, that the definition is based on, 8 U.S.C. 1324. What that federal definition describes is who is authorized to be employed in the United States, not who is authorized to be present. There is a difference. There is a huge difference. And the suggestion here in the bill and in the presentation of the bill is for folks to immediately draw the assumption, oh, my God, they're unauthorized. They shouldn't be here. Yes, they should. They are authorized to be present. They are not authorized to work. There is a difference. And the bill is seeking to prohibit all of those individuals who are unauthorized to work, but authorized to be present. Those folks authorized to be present. The bill seeks to block them from entering the state of Florida. And to be clear around the so-called confusion on whether or not this bill has anything to do with the policy related to uh, nonprofit groups, faith-based groups who are sheltering unaccompanied minors, it's not cited in the bill because the bill is intentionally crafted to work in tandem with Governor DeSantis's executive order, which prohibits and allows for DCF to prohibit uh, some of these faith-based and nonprofit organizations to offer shelter and housing and fostering for unaccompanied youth, which is legal. They are allowed to be present. And when you combine that policy with this bill, you're blocking them from coming to Florida and blocking them from being sheltered. That is the net outcome of this bill taken in tandem with Governor DeSantis's recent executive action. This amendment at least clarifies the sponsor's repeatedly false claims that unauthorized, the unaccompanied, rather, unaccompanied children are not included in the bill. They are. Why don't we pass this amendment to make rock solid the confirmation that we are not blocking unaccompanied children who are trying to be partnered with families from coming into Florida. Members, please vote for this amendment. Thank you. Rep. Bartleman 